What's up guys, welcome to your 127th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial, we're basically going to set up something to do um, within this method called onSensorChange. But before we do that, let's set up some variables that we're going to use. And they're going to be float types. So we're going to say float x, float y, and float sensor um, x and sensor y. And then we're also going to set up a bitmap because again we're going to draw that ball to the screen so we're going to say bitmap ball and then within our on create method here we're going to set up our ball reference real quickly um, again just bitmap factory uh, dot decode resources a resource and then get resources and also which whichever uh, ID that we want so we're going to say r dot drawable dot green ball and we have our bitmap set up we also might want to set up all of our float values so we're going to say x equals y equals sensor x equals sensor y and basically what's going to happen now um, actually those aren't set equal to anything so we're going to set that equal to zero and now anytime our sensor changes it's going to call this on sensor change method. So what we can do is we can set up our you know our float values for our sensor uh, every time that our sensor is called. So what we can do is say sensor x, and I believe this was r zero something like that. I just changed it to e because it's a little bit easier to to work with. Uh, just sensor event is being passed in so we get an event and we can refer to that event and get the value so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna say e dot values and it returns a float um, and let's just scroll over here uh, to the description and if we refer to the value zero that's gonna give us the pretty much the x x axis um, the direction of the x axis and the y is gonna give us the direction of the y axis and I'm sorry, the 1 is going to give us the direction of the y-axis and the 2 is going to give us the direction of the z-axis. So for our sensor x, what we want to do is we just want to say the values um, of 1, or I'm sorry, of 0. And that will return basically the information from our sensor event for the x-direction or the x-axis. And then again, we're just going to say sensor y is equal to e dot values and now we're looking for the y direction which is 1 and we don't really care about the z direction for our example and also another thing that we can do is we can even delay uh, this even longer because uh, even though we set it equal to be a normal delay uh, sensor we can even delay it a little bit longer by just adding a thread sleep method to like 1000 or not 1000 like 16 16 is about uh, 60 frames per second. And then we're just going to add a, a try and a catch around this, this sleep method here. So that will kind of save us some processing speed so it's not checking every time our sensor even slightly moves. But, uh, you know, it's good enough, for example, 60 times per second to update uh, basically our X and Y values of our sensor. Uh, that's pretty good. So there we go, guys. Um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, just kind of learn about any time a sensor changes that's going to call this method where we're going to redefine the sensor X and sensor Y. So I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.